Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Kansas Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to go through some housekeeping announcements while we wait for our participants to start rolling in. But as participants, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. That can be while they're presenting before or after they're presenting, so feel free to ask whenever. Your camera and your microphone are off, so the panelists cannot hear or see you. That being said, the only way for you to get your questions asked and answered is through the Q&A feature. This is just one of the many different sessions we have going on today, so be sure to sign up for an additional session after this. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website that you registered. So without any further ado, I'd like to turn it over to our presenters, starting with Drake University. All right, good evening, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Evan Favreau, and I am the admission counselor from Drake University that works with students from Kansas. I myself actually grew up in Kansas City. I'm, I'm on the Kansas side, and I went to Drake, so I kind of lived that experience. And I'm really uh, happy to share some quick info about Drake University with you. Uh, just to start, if you're not familiar with Drake, we are located in Des Moines, Iowa, which is about three hours up I-35 from the Kansas City area. And maybe this is the most important thing to cover real quick. We do have a bulldog at Drake. We are the Bulldogs, that's our mascot. And Griff here is our live mascot. Uh, Griff too is actually who you're seeing here. He just started this summer. Um, and so he's a pretty special part of the university. But there's a lot of other cool stuff about Drake as well. So speaking about just kind of the, the basics of Drake, we are very much a um, smaller school, but I would say a lot, of, a lot of the experience at Drake really lends itself to being a medium sized experience. In terms of our student body, we do have just about 3,000 undergraduate students. So when you add in our graduate programs, we are closer to about 5,000 students. And it really is, in a lot of ways, the perfect size. With this experience, you're definitely going to, or with, with the size, I should say, you're definitely going to have that small school experience. Uh, 10 to 1 is our student to faculty ratio. And you know that's one of those nice statistics that small schools like to talk about. What that actually means is when you're at, at Drake as a student, you're going to have really close relationships with your professors, your advisors. Someone is always going to be there for you step of the way as you go through your majors, but also all your other experiences at Drake. Speaking of majors, this is one of those nice kind of larger aspects of Drake. We do have a lot to offer in terms of what you can study. We do have over 100 undergraduate options in these six different colleges and schools. So some of these you can see pretty uh, clearly what they cover in terms of business, education, journalism, and health sciences. Uh, also in the College of Arts and Sciences, we have a wide range of majors going from fine arts, like BFA programs in, in the fine arts areas, to humanities, social sciences, natural sciences. It's also totally okay to come to Drake not knowing what you want to study. Uh, one of the largest majors that we have of incoming students are open or undecided students. And most Drake students end up studying more than one thing. So doing a double major, minors, concentration, that's very common at Drake. And those students still end up graduating on time. Outside of the classroom, we have a lot to do on campus. We have over 140 student organizations. So some of it might be tied to your major and what you want to study. Some of it may have nothing to do with academics, like the hammock club you can see here, or the breakfast club. But we do have uh, a lot of opportunities to do whatever you want. So even if you are, let's say, a neuroscience major, but you want to play in the orchestra, you can still do that. Uh, if you're a business major, but you want to write for the student newspaper or our award-winning magazine, you can do that. So no matter what your passions are, no matter what you're studying, you can cross that over a lot and have a pretty nice variety of experiences. We are, when it comes to athletics, in Division I. So being Division I NCAA is pretty rare for a school of our size. So we have top-tier athletes at Drake competing on our teams, and those are events that you can go see as a student. I have to brag about our women's basketball team. Uh, for the past few years, they've pretty consistently been ranked in the top 25 in the entire country. That's one of our, one of our best sports to go see, but basketball, football, soccer, all that good stuff is happening at Drake. And our student body comes from all over the place. You know, we are in Iowa, but over about 70% of our students are actually from outside of the state. That really does inform the experience at Drake, where students are usually coming from, you know, several hours away. And that means that we're a very residential campus. Students are always on campus every night, every weekend. There's always something going on. You're never going to be bored at Drake. There's always going to be a friend uh, nearby. And one of the biggest things to know about Drake is, is something called the Drake Relays. This is actually a massive track and field meet that we host on campus every April, going on for about 110 years. 
And this is an event that brings tens of thousands of people to campus every year for uh, track and field with uh, some of the best athletes in the world competing. But we also have a lot of school traditions that go with it. So this provides some of that like big state school kind of vibe that you sometimes get um, at you know larger institutions. You can still have a drink. And one of the traditions that goes with drink relays is something called street painting, which you can actually see uh, in this photo here. We have this uh, street on campus that gets painted every year for the relays. And as part of that, uh, it turns into a giant paint fight. So it gets very messy and it's, it's a lot of fun and a big highlight for our students. We are located in Des Moines, which is a, a nice uh, city to explore. I know Des Moines is kind of a secret city sometimes for students and they haven't uh, spent a lot of time there. But in Des Moines, there's a lot to, to take advantage of. Um, the city itself is over 600,000 people. It's actually right now the fastest growing city in the Midwest. And Drake is located in the Drake neighborhood, which is actually the largest neighborhood in Des Moines. And it's located uh, about 10 minutes from downtown. So if you want to go and explore cool restaurants like Zombie Burger, Fong's Pizza, go to concerts, go to festivals, all that stuff is right there for you. But also it provides a lot of opportunities for internships. Because in Des Moines, we're the largest four-year school and we're not that big. So when, it, when you need to get those important internships that build you to that next experience after graduation, it's really easy to come by in a large city like Des Moines without having to compete with a bunch of other college students. And these internships are important because it leads to success after you graduate. And that's something that we excel at at Drake. Uh, most recently, 98.1% of our graduates had a job or were in graduate school within six months. And that is a consistent result for us. We also know that that's based on about 90% of our students actually responding to the, the survey that we do when they graduate. So that's a confident number. A couple quick more things. We do uh, uh, accept test optional applications. So you, when you apply, you can use test scores, interview, or essay. We have no preference, and you get all the same considerations for scholarships when you apply. And speaking of scholarships, we do guarantee at least $21,000 in scholarship for any student who applies and is admitted to Drake. And one last thing, and I'm just about out of time. Uh, we do have a lot of ways to learn more about Drake on our website at this address, and we also are doing some on-campus business right now. So. If you're interested, we would love to uh, talk to you more. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much. And from that, we will move on to the University of St. Mary. All right, how's everybody doing? My name is Randolph Castor from the University of St. Mary. Uh, we are located in Leavenworth, Kansas, which is, if you don't know, Kansas, you got your rectangle, you got the corner that's cut off, or right up in the cutoff corner, right next to Kansas City, Kansas. <clears throat> so Leavenworth itself is a small town, but you do have the big city right in your backyard for shopping, sports with the Kansas City Chiefs, go Chiefs, uh, you know, different things like that, okay? We are a small private Catholic university. So when I say we're small, we're about 650 to 750 students on the undergraduate side. Uh, if you count all of our graduate and doctoral students, that's more like 1,200 to 1,300. But as for our undergraduate students, average class size is gonna be around 20 to 25. So what that means for you is you're never gonna be in a giant class of over 400 in some giant lecture hall or anything like that. Your professor is always gonna know who you are on a first name basis. If you ever have any issues in class, maybe you didn't understand the, the lecture or the homework didn't make any sense, or maybe you're a student athlete and you're gonna be gone for a game and need to reschedule a test, that is not an issue. Over 60 to 70% of our student uh, population are student athletes. So athletics is used to that as well as our professors, okay? Uh, it's also really easy to get involved on campus being a small school, uh, whether that's through athletics or fine arts like band, choir, theater, or art, or any of our different student organizations. We have quite a few uh, things like campus activity board, student government, black student union, Spanish club, STEM club, Phi Beta Lama business club, or campus ministry, or if you want to start up your own club, maybe there's something that you'd love to see at USM while you're a student here. Maybe your secret passion and goal in life is to play ping pong as much as you want to. We can help you start a ping pong club. It's not that hard, okay? Uh, we are also private. Like I said, so uh, we have a kind of some leeway with our scholarshiping. Okay, last year we gave out over nine million dollars to help our students uh, afford an education. This year I'm able to give out anywhere between twelve thousand to sixteen thousand dollars to every uh, student that attends the University of Saint Mary, based solely on GPA. And then on top of that, we can stack at, uh, uh, athletic money, fine arts money, uh, uh, community service scholarships. Uh, external scholarships, fast on financial aid. So once everything is said and done, after you go through the whole financial aid process, we are about one to $2,000 less expensive than the national average after financial aid, and about three to $4,000 less expensive than the two biggest state schools in Kansas, okay? 
Uh, and then finally, we are Catholic. Okay, we've had that Catholic backbone since we were founded back in 1850. We are founded by the Sisters of Charity of Leavenworth, originally an all-girls boarding school. Of course, now we have grown since then uh, to the university that we are today. Uh, you do not need to be Catholic to attend the University of St. Mary, so don't worry about that. However, you do have a lot of options available to you. We do have Mass every uh, uh, Sunday in the Annunciation Chapel on campus, as well as services on Wednesdays, but you are not required to attend a certain number of chapel services in order to graduate. You can also attend whatever church you would like to in the area, either in Leavenworth or in Kansas City. In terms of academic programs, uh, we do have over 40 uh, different academic programs. We kind of specialize in healthcare, okay? And our top three uh, programs would be nursing, biology, and psychology. And in terms of athletics, being an NAIA school, we do have over 20 different athletic teams. Some of our newest teams include our women's flag football team, our swimming team, both men and women's, esports. So if you enjoy playing video games and want to get some scholarship money, then in feel free to talk to me. Uh, then we also have uh, men and women's wrestling on campus as well. We're also very excited to announce that we have been uh, nominated for NAIA Champions of Character going on nine or 10 years. Uh, so basically our student athletes, you know, they're very respectful. They do well in classroom. They're participating in other extracurricular events besides athletics. Uh, they're doing community service within the area. Some of our teams, it's required of them. I believe football uh, goes to local elementary schools and reads during reading time and things like that. Uh, so we're very proud of that. And we want to continue on that with that uh, tradition. In terms of admissions criteria to the University of St. Mary, it's pretty simple. We just recently went test optional. So we are looking for a 2.75 GPA on a 4.0 unweighted scale. All right, that'll get you in automatically. And that will also uh, be in the running for one of our automatic scholarships, that, that $12,000 to $16,000 I mentioned a moment ago. You don't have to apply for that scholarship. Uh, those are automatic, okay? Now, if you don't quite meet that 2.75, that is okay. We do have uh, uh, different admissions criteria if you're between a 2.5 and a 2.75. You just need to have an 18 or higher ACT along with your GPA, and we can get you in that way. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me later. This website that I have up here, uh, this is just stmary.edu. If you'd like to apply, feel free, just go to stmary.edu, apply now. And if you'd like to schedule a campus visit, we do have both on-campus visits available as well as virtual visit visits. Uh, you'll be able to talk to us at admissions more in depth. You can get a, a, a meeting with a professor in your area of interest. You can speak with coaches if you're interested in an athletic event. Uh, we can also do a tour. Uh, and get you information that way, okay? So uh, without further ado, thank you for listening to me today and I hope to see you on campus soon. Great, thank you so much. So I'm gonna pull up the schedule here. And next we will move on to McPherson College. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Alex Woost. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions at McPherson College. Um, if you don't know where McPherson College is, you can just uh, uh, think pretty much uh, smack dab in the middle of Kansas. Uh, we're north of Wichita, about an hour, um, 20 minutes from Hutchinson, uh, about 30 minutes from Salina. Um, that just kind of gives you a little background on that. So um, I've been working at McPherson College since uh, 2013. Um, I, uh, I love this place. I actually did not graduate from this place, but uh, I'll tell you, if you're looking at the best um, college for your money, um, you'd be hard pressed to find anywhere else better than McPherson College. And I can say that uh, proudly because uh, one of the best things that we do focus on, um, it used to be one of our major taglines, uh, we used to say career focused, life ready. Um, so uh, if you're an athlete and you're coming here for sports and academics, uh, you know athletics will eventually um, stop for you some sometime uh, down the line. Um, so you wanna go to a place that treats you well, not only athletically, but academically. You wanna think of a place that will um, help you expand your horizons and think more in the future. Where am I gonna get a job? How am I gonna get a job? So that's what we do here at McPherson College very well. Um, our president says we care more uh, about our students um, after they graduate than you know most colleges out there. And I, I firmly believe that through our internships. So if you want a general overview of McPherson College, um, currently we're about 850 students on campus. 
Uh, we have a diverse population. Um, uh, pretty cool. We have about 60 to 70 students from uh, Congo, Wawanda area there in Africa. Um, our tennis team, we have a high percentage of internationals there as well. Um, we have students from uh, Asia, uh, Australia, Europe, um, all over the map. And so you're not just coming over here to interact with Kansas kids, you're actually interacting with uh, people from California to uh, New York and then all over the globe. Um, some important highlights about McPherson College, um, two, -third of, two thirds of our graduates secured a job before graduation, which is uh, three times the national average. 98% of our graduates earned a job within six months of graduation. 100% of students who applied to grad school uh, gained admission. Uh, new on campus student health center. Um, this is kind of a big thing. If you're following higher education, you know, mental health is kind of a big topic. How do we support students that way? Not only just mental health, but also physical health as well, especially here in a pandemic. We actually have, we partner with um, a health facility called Partners in Family Care. Uh, we have a full-time certified doctor on campus at this facility. So at any given moment, if you feel like you have you know, strep throat or if you're sick, whatever you're experiencing, you can go to this health clinic and not worry about trying to find a doctor here in McPherson. Um, you can go straight to our on-campus facility. So that's kind of huge. In addition to that, within that facility, we do offer free counseling sessions as well for any students that, you know, maybe you just want to talk to a counselor that, you know, maybe you're struggling with um, being separated from home. Maybe you're feeling anxious about an upcoming exam. Maybe you're experiencing some depression. Um, we offer free um, mental health uh, <clears throat> clinic here on campus for your, um, for your pleasure. So also we have a revamped health science and healthcare management um, program. Uh, we started that last year. We're offering $25,000 total institutional aid if you want to come and study health science or healthcare management here at McPherson College. Another unique, unique thing about us, um, we, 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 thought, we, we found out about uh, two years ago that you know, students need to get out and experience nature. So we want, we want students to um, get out of the classrooms, get out of their dorms and actually go interact with nature. So we started Bulldog Adventures program. It's completely free to students. Um, we, we teach you guys basic um, survival out in the wilderness. We'll do fishing. We'll do um, camping at various places across Kansas. We also do, um, we'll teach you how to shoot a shotgun if you want to do uh, shoot skeet, anything like that. We've done that last year as well. So um, go, continuing on to the Bulldog Adventures program, uh, we're also creating this new um, caveat to it. It's called Build Your Own Adventure. So We'll provide you free gear. Uh, we'll provide you anything that you need to help build your own adventure and you can get a group of students to go with you and we'll help, help design that for you. Uh, moving on to the health science. Uh, McPherson's health science uh, program offers majors in health science and healthcare management, as I discussed. Um, this, this is a cool program. If you, know, you don't know exactly what you wanna do in the medical field, but um, you kind of have you know, you, you just kind of feel like you do want to work in the medical field. Um, this is a great degree to fall back on to. Um, we do behavioral health, public health, community health, healthcare management, stuff like that. And like I said, if you're interested in this, we'll give you $25,000 if you meet our admissions requirements for that. Um, here's a general overview of what we offer here on campus. We have 30 plus academic programs. If you had to ask me what's our top majors, um, uh, automotive restoration, we are globally recognized as that. We're the only uh, school in the world that offers a four-year bachelor's degree in automotive restoration. So what does that look like? Well, any car pre-1970, uh, you will come to Kansas or you would come to campus and you're going to learn everything about that, that any kind of car pre-1970. So you'll do upholstery, paint, chassis, all aspects of a car you'll bring it back to original value, and then we'll sell that at a uh, car auction. Whatever we get for those cars that we uh, bring back to original value, we actually dump back into the program. Um, in addition to that, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah I'm, go ahead. I'm sorry, but we have to move on to the next school. Sorry. Okay, yep, Just to keep yep. everything on track, I apologize. Sure, yeah, no worries. So 
with that being said, I'm going to share my screen again, and we will now move on to Newman University. Hello, everyone. Let me get this slide up for you. My name is Martina Viale, and I'm an admission counselor here at Newman. I actually just graduated this past May with a degree in management and one in marketing and, an and a minor in entrepreneurship. I have an accent. I'm from Italy. We have around 1,200 students here at Newman, and we have a student to faculty ratio of 11 to 1 and an 18 average class size. I just mentioned I'm from Italy, so we have international students. 20, um, you know, We represent 33 different countries, and then we have students that come from 29 different states in the United States. We are located in Wichita, Kansas, which is ranked one of the top 10 places to live in the United States, and is actually the largest city in Kansas by population, which means you will be able to go to different concerts, you will be able to go uh, experience different food from different restaurants, and we also have uh, 125 different uh, parks around town, so if you enjoy the fresh air, we have that. <laughs> We are a Catholic college. We were founded by the Daughters of the Blood of Christ in 1933, and we are named after St. John Henry Newman. Even though we're Catholic, you are not required to go to mass or you know, either daily or Sunday mass. And actually only 41% of our students is Catholic. We are known for all those things that you see on the slide, but I want to talk about, you know, for the sake of time, high employment. Our students come to Newman and we want them to have a job afterwards. 71% of our students are employed in their field of study upon graduation. I actually had this job lined up since March. So, you know, I had job security right away and I really appreciated that. We have a variety of different programs, but you know, if I have to choose the three most common ones, I will say any science major, you know, any of the science department ones, business, and then nursing. And with, you know, the sciences, a lot of students actually are in pre-professional programs. And we also have a lot of, a lot of students that join the pre-love program. There's a lot of different misconception that comes when you think about Newman. A lot of people think we are, you know, too expensive because we're Catholic and private, but we actually have a free application and we offer a lot of different generous scholarship and 99% of our students receive financial assistance. Another misconception is that it's hard to get into it, but actually we are test optional since 2018. We are the first college in Kansas to become test optional and we recruit for fit. So talking a little bit about scholarships, as soon as you get accepted into Newman, you're gonna receive a academic scholarship that ranges between 12,000 to 16,000. And let's say that you send both your GPA and your ACT, we'll go off of the highest one because we want to make sure that you get the highest amount possible of scholarship. We also have special scholarships such as our full tuition, which is only given to five high achieving students. And even though we're test optional, this one still require an ACT. If you have an SAT, we'll just convert it to that. And also we have a community leader scholarship, which is based on community service hours. And that's 17,500 per year. All of those are renewable for all the four years that you're here in Newman. If you're interested in majoring in art or theater, or if you want a minor in music, we also have scholarship that will go with that. You just have to audition or have a portfolio review. And then we also have an honor scholarship, which is $1,000, and it will just stack onto your other scholarships. So don't feel like it's not a lot of money. It's actually just a help to, you know, to get those costs down. A little bit of a timeline for you. Remember to apply uh, apply for the special scholarship by December 1st. And then FAFSA just opened up. So if you need our school code, write it down in the chat and I'll give it to you. We are an, the only private NCAA Division II college in Kansas. We have 18 athletic teams between men and women. And if you are not wanting, and so we can give scholarships, sorry. And if you're not wanting to become an athlete, we actually also have intramural sports. So you can enjoy, uh, you know, um, doing some athletic thing, but not having the stress of uh, being a professional athlete. We, uh, living on campus is an option. We have three different dorms, but if you're a first time student, you will live in Karachi Hall, which is a suite style. So you're gonna share a room with two people and then you're, sure, you're gonna share the bathroom with two other people. So four people in total. We have a laundry facility that is coin operated and every single lobby has a different, you know, kind of activity, either pool, ping pong or football. And then there's a fast internet and we have printers in all dorms. You have 150 pages for free every week 
week and it renews, uh, it renews on Wednesdays. So you can use it in the dorms or even at the library or any other computer labs that we have on campus. This fall, we just implemented this new program, which is called Navigator, and we call it your supercharged support system. Basically, we want you to become a student that go out in the society and gets a job. Therefore, we, you will have a, a, a faculty advisor and a mentor of your choice from the community, the Newman community or the Wichita community that will help you with job opportunities, internships and shadowing opportunities. And I was a, a first generation college student. So I know how hard it can be to, you know, just step into college and not knowing what's going on. So we have this program that will help you with anything. So it's an extra support system to make sure that you can turn your dreams into reality. And our science facility is a state of our science facility. Actually, a KU med student for the first or second year come to use our cadaver lab and our professors teach those classes as well. For the pandemic, we've been social distancing. Students are on campus, but starting on November 23rd, students will actually go um, uh, online so that you know after Thanksgiving, they don't have to quarantine. And students ha have also a, a residence hall specifically used for quarantine in case they test positive. This is all our social media. Make sure to follow us there. If you have any questions, let me know in the chat. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. So now we will move on to Bethel College. Hello, uh, welcome from Bethel College. Uh, my name is Nate Croker and I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Bethel. And I'll give you a little bit more about my Bethel journey here in just a second, uh, but first some general information about Bethel. So we're a uh, private four-year college in North Newton, Kansas, which is about 30 minutes north of Wichita. We have around 500 students on campus from all over the country and all around the world. Most of our students live on campus in the dorms uh, and participate in various athletics, fine arts, or other activities. Uh, Bethel is affiliated with the Mennonite Church, which is a branch of uh, the Christian faith. And although we were founded by Mennonites, only about 25% of our students identify as Mennonite. And even though we're a religious college, uh, there's no requirement to uh, get involved uh, in chapels or church services, although there are plenty of opportunities to attend if you wish. Uh, because of our beautiful campus and small student population, Bethel's really tight knit uh, and focused on community. You'll get to know just about everybody on campus in your first semester or two. Uh, finally, Bethel's mascot is the Thresher, based on the historic farm implement uh, and the people who used it. Uh, it symbolizes hard work, community, and dedication. You can see the logo up in the top left of the screen. So now I'll tell you a little bit about me and my Bethel journey. I graduated from Bethel in 2019 with a degree in history and communication arts with a minor in music. As a student, I was involved in choir, jazz, band, orchestra, theater, history club, and a few other things. I loved living on campus and getting to know everyone, and I made some really great friendships here. One of my favorite memories from Bethel was traveling for three weeks in the Holy Land to Jordan, Palestine, and Israel uh, on a historical biblical tour, uh, and we studied the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which was really, really interesting. Bethel has a strong history of academics, and we offer a ton of variety with over 40 areas of study. Some of our top programs include education, nursing, pre-med, and social work, and we just added our brand new biochemistry and molecular biology major developed specifically for students interested in going to the health or research related fields. Um, we also just approved a new software development major, which is really, really cool and should be coming soon. Uh, one cool thing about Bethel is our I major, which is a way to major in a degree that Bethel doesn't traditionally offer. You to get to design your own major with a couple of professors and graduate with the degree that you want. Uh, you'll have your own academic advisor from day one, and we also offer free tutoring services on campus, as well as free counseling and mental health services. Bethel was recently voted the number one college in Kansas for bachelor's degrees, which is amazing, and uh, we are number one in the state for students who go on to earn doctoral degrees, whether MD or PhD. There are tons of opportunities to get involved while you're here at Bethel, including sports, music, art, theater, forensics, and more. Uh, we've done really well with our athletics recently, uh, including renovating some new uh, facilities, and we recently won our third straight Champions of Character Award from the NAIA. In addition to sports, we have a number of choral and instrumental ensembles, and our theater department does two yearly shows. 
beyond the traditional performance routes, students can also get involved in student activity council, student government, various clubs, the school paper, literary magazine, our very own radio station, and more. If you're not seeing something listed here that you'd like to be interested in doing, you can actually start your own club, absolutely, and find students who share your interests. Uh, next, we'll talk about money, which can be scary, uh, especially at a private college, but Bethel is dedicated to helping students make college affordable, and we do that by offering a ton of scholarships. First, every single student, 100%, uh, receives an academic scholarship because you're here uh, for college, uh, and that's based on your high school GPA. We just went test optional this year. Uh, you can send in your ACT or SAT score if you wish, um, but we'll only use it if it's beneficial to you. Uh, second, you have the opportunity to be scholarship from your activities, whether that's sports, music, theater, etc. Uh, we also offer uh, career pathway scholarships that allow you to earn scholarships while being involved in areas related to your major. So, for example, a business major might work in the campus store, a journalism major might work on the campus newspaper, you, you get the point. Uh, there are some additional scholarships as well for certain departments, legacy students, and based on your FAFSA. Uh, speaking of the FAFSA, be sure to send in uh, your FAFSA application to us so we can build your scholarship package. We have a really quick turnaround um, and it just opened so that you can see our code on the screen. Um, Bethel was ranked number five, 57 out of over 800 colleges and universities in the U.S. for best financial aid. We're the number one small Kansas college for highest earning graduates and we're actually 19% below the national average uh, for private colleges, which is really, really cool in terms of cost. So right now, just some fun facts about Bethel. Uh, we have tons of opportunities for travel and study abroad, whether for a month, a semester, a full year. And we actually have two foreign exchange school partners in Germany and Mexico. Bethel was built on tradition. Uh, and you can see we have uh, several fantastic traditions for our students, including our Fall Fest homecoming, mud volleyball every spring, and of course, tons of pranks. Uh, one of the best things about Bethel is that you're not just in college for a degree. You're getting real world experience, hands-on from day one, uh, to prepare you for great career after graduation and every student uh, gets involved either with research performance or internships so the final slide here is how to learn about your next steps a great first step is to apply to bethel let us know you're interested uh, learn more about your opportunities here uh, on campus our application is 100 completely free and only takes 10 minutes you can see the website on the screen i'll also uh, be happy to drop it in the chat if you have questions uh, about that. Once you've applied, all we need is a transcript from your freshman through junior year, so six semesters, uh, and we can make an acceptance decision. No uh, ACT or SAT required, as I mentioned, test optional. Um, and another great step would be to come on a campus visit, uh, either in person or virtual, we offer both, uh, to meet professors, coaches, fine arts, financial aid, etc. You'll get to choose who you meet with, uh, so your visit is always personalized to you. These links, again, I'll be happy to send to you if you send me a question in the chat, and I'll be answering any questions you send, so feel free to send them my way. Roll on Threshers, and thanks for listening. Great. Thank you so much. And lastly, we will move on to Southwestern College. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Rodney Worsham with Southwestern College. I've enjoyed listening to my five colleagues from other private schools discuss their institutions, but I just want to to talk to you um, and not kind of give you information overload. That's a lot of information to take in. And so I would encourage you, if you want to learn more about Southwestern College, go to our website, which is beabuilder.com, or we would be happy to mail you a view book and let you learn all about the statistics of Southwestern. But I just want to make sure that I talk with you and not just at you for the next few minutes. Um, Southwestern College, I've worked there for 27 years. My son is a sophomore at Southwestern and my daughter is a freshman. And so I know Southwestern not only as an administrator, but also as a parent. And it's just a great place to go. Southwestern, we're located 45 minutes south of Wichita and we have about 600 students. So we're not a KU, K-State, WSU, large university. We're not a two-year junior college. We're a four-year college of about 600 students. Some things that do make us unique are our women's hall um, have private bathrooms. So ladies, it would be you and your roommate and your own bathroom, no community bathrooms anywhere on campus, lots of apartment housing selections. And then for guys, it would be you and your roommate and then you would have a bathroom and then two suite mates. We also I issue Surface Pro laptops, Dell laptops to every single incoming student. 
And so at graduation time, don't have your family buy you a new laptop because you will get a brand new one at Southwestern, which has really come in handy with everything that's going on in the world right now. We are also are the only college in the Kansas region that offers marine biology. Students spend their first three and a half years on our campus, and then we have an automatic internship set up at Oregon State, and they graduate with a Bachelor's of Science with our $4.2 million science complex with a degree in marine biology. I would just encourage you, I want to keep it very simple, two things, apply and visit apply and visit. And I would encourage you to apply and visit to all the colleges that you've watched today. Uh, the month of October is private school uh, fee waiver. And so we will waive your application fee if you apply to Southwestern during the month of October, no app fee. We are open. We are doing, our college has done everything and then some for you to have a safe campus visit. We have tested all of our employees, all of our students for COVID and our student athletes numerous times. Um, you are welcome to come to campus anytime, Monday through Friday, and we also have Saturday visits. Um, the visits, you're one-on-one, -on -one individual, it's not with a group, and uh, we are masking, um, but you, you can come on campus and meet with coaches, activity directors, professors, and tour the campus. But I would tell you that our coaches and activity directors and professors would also be happy to contact you by email or by Zoom or by FaceTime or by text whatever works best for you. There's a great resource called Southwestern College High School Class of 2021. That's a group on our Facebook. I would encourage both you and your parents to join that. Again, as I've said, I've been at Southwestern for a long time and I'm kind of like that bank teller that you go to because they know you and they know your account. And so there's a lot of things to navigate going to college. There's a lot of steps to go through. And so I am here to help you and your parents. You can call me, email me, text me, whatever works best for you. I will help you from today through the admissions process, the financial aid process, the scholarship process, the enrollment process, and the move-in process um, is when I'll, in a sense, release you to student life and our campus. So I would encourage you to think about visiting. Visit our campus before Thanksgiving break is when our students will be leaving for the semester break. Like I said, you can visit anytime, Monday through Friday, morning or afternoon, or Saturday. Maybe you visit Bethel or McPherson or one of the other colleges that have already presented on a Friday, and then you visit Southwestern on a Saturday. So you can compare. There's no one college that's right for anyone. So I wanna make sure that you find the right college that's right for you. The reason I want you to visit and apply is on December 1, our full tuition scholarship applications will be coming out. Southwestern is blessed to give four full tuition scholarships. They're not based on ACT and they are not based on GPA. There's an interview and an essay that's required. And if you're one of the 100 students that are selected to be a finalist, if you've not been on our campus and visited campus, you may find it's a struggle to answer the questions during the interview portion, whether that be on campus or through a Zoom interview. So I would encourage you, schedule a visit, look over your school calendar and come and visit campus. Even if you don't win the full tuition scholarship, every student who competes wins an additional $1,000 competition scholarship, which can be added onto your academic scholarship, your activity scholarship and your church matching scholarship. If you're interested in FCA or discipleship or campus ministry or worship outreach involved in your youth group, want to grow in your faith, Wednesdays at 11 o'clock would be a great day for you to visit. We have chapel. Chapel has been outside and we have several hundred students who attend chapel. It's uh, student led through student worship and, and different guest speakers. So Wednesday might be a great day for you to visit. So again, apply and visit. And I hope to see you on campus soon so that I, I can put a full tuition scholarship application in your hand through mail or online by December 1. Thank you so much and have a great senior year. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. So for our attendees today, I want to say thank you for visiting and joining us today. We really appreciate it. If you do have any questions, now is the time to get them in the chat feature below. So feel free to enter those in there. We have about five minutes left, so a good amount of time to get some of your questions answered. If you don't have any questions, you can feel free to head out of the today's session. 
you can uh, do that by clicking the leave button in the bottom right. And when you do so, there will be a quick, very quick four question survey. It should take about 15 seconds. And we'd really appreciate if you could fill that out as we love feedback and we really want to continue to improve our programs. And again, we have more sessions after this, so feel free to register for one of those. And this recording will be available online in about a week's time. So if you have any questions, again, feel free to put them in the Q&A chat now. We have about four minutes left. If not, feel free to head out and thank you again for joining us. If our reps want to just answer the question out loud, um, just so everyone can hear, if just keep it pretty quick and we can uh, do that. So there's a question in there for I think St. Mary's, St. Mary's maybe, you can answer that one out loud if you'd like. Absolutely. So uh, eSports at the University of St. Mary uh, is just like any other sport. <clears throat> you get a scholarship, uh, you get recruited by the coach, and then you play in the different events. Uh, off the top of my head, I know we have a, um, uh, League of Legends team, Smash team, I believe Fortnite, and a few others that we're doing. But yeah, you can get scholarship just as much as a football player or a volleyball player, uh, just like any other sport. Great, thanks. All right, if there are any other questions, we have about three minutes left, so feel free to put them in the Q&A chat. Or if not, you're more than welcome to head out. Alrighty, I will give one last uh, warning for questions. If you do have any, again, feel free to put them in the Q&A feature. If not, you're more than welcome to uh, head out and move on to another session. Thank you. Alrighty, it doesn't look like there's any more questions, so I'm going to go ahead and just end today's session. I want to thank our panelists for taking their time and joining us today. And this video will be made available online within a week for anyone who wasn't able to attend today. Thank you so much.